bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Women It's Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, Safety in the Ark. Our scriptures are found in the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. We enter this week's lesson knowing that Noah has done all that God commanded him to do and has found favor in the eyes of God, which God sees as righteousness. Noah is a righteous man in his generation living among but separated from the wicked, whom God said have literally surrendered to whatever their flesh craves. Noah has built the ark and is now receiving further instruction. God can give instructions, but is not required to tell you why he's doing the things this way. However, with Noah, God chose to tell him why. Obedience is required whether God chooses to tell you why or not. Noah was now 600 years of age when the rains began. And remember, rain was something that no one had ever seen or heard of before Noah started preaching the warning that it was coming. This chapter makes mention of both clean beasts and unclean beasts. One pair, male and female, of unclean beasts. And seven pair, male and female, of clean beasts. God is about to unleash the destruction that he foretold. But Noah and his family will be safe inside the ark. And as always, God has provided for those who do his will. The ark of safety represents Jesus. And as the old world system of evil is being destroyed, Noah and his family are saved from the darkness, pain, and destruction because they are in the ark. Those who were laughing at Noah and thought that he was a fool are no longer laughing. You'll notice that God didn't tell Noah to go into the ark, but to come. Just as Jesus said to Peter in the New Testament in Matthew chapter 14 verses 28 and 29. This indicates that God would be with him in the ark, and Noah didn't enter the ark on his own but waited to be tenderly invited by God. Noah understood the long-term consequences of his actions, both for himself and his family. After 120 years, God gave wicked mankind a seven-day grace period, as he tells Noah that in one Sabbath period time, one full week, that the waters will come, and it will be too late. To repent. The seven pairs of clean animals were God's provision of food and also for sacrifice once the flood was over. Man wasn't meant to eat nor sacrifice the unclean beasts, so God limited the number of the unclean beasts to one pair each. Please share our lessons and leave us a comment. Tell us what you've learned from this week's lesson. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.